Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in amma ba'd. Continuing in the readings of Walillah al-Asma'u al-Husna fad'uhu biha. We have been dealing with the name from last night, At-Tayyib. The name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, At-Tayyib. And as it relates to the effects that this name has upon the iman of the servant or the influence that it has upon the iman of the servant, the author, he brings a few points. The first of them, he says, of course, as he's mentioned about many of the other names, that it brings about Mahabbatullahi subhanahu li sifatihi wa asma'ihi al-tayyibah al-jaleela al karima that of course it brings about for the servant to have and produces the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this love that is based upon his descriptions or because of his descriptions and his names that are at tayyibah that are perfect that are pure that are lofty that are exalted wa hamidahu alayha and the person and the servant will praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because of these names or by way of these names and he will ele- elevate and exalt Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by way of this name or by way of these names thani and secondly wa min atharihi ismihi subhanahu at-tayyib ma jaa fi al-hadith and also from the effects of this name at-tayyib from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that which has come in the hadith, the hadith that we mentioned, that Allah subhanahu is tayyib, la yaqbalu illa tayyiban. That Allah ta'ala, He is tayyib, and He does not accept, accept that which is tayyib. He says, وَلَا يَنْبَغِي أَنْ يَتَقَرَّبْ إِلَيْهِ الْعَبْدُ إِلَّا بِالطَّيِّبِ مِنَ الْأَقْوَالِ amal. He says that because of this, it is not appropriate for the servant to draw near to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala except by that which is tayyib. Tayyib by way of one's statements and tayyib by way of one's actions. And tayyib by way of the maqasit or the intentions and the objectives behind these actions of the servant. Thirdly, وَمِنْ أَثَارِ الْإِيمَانِ بِاسْمِهِ سُبْحَانَهُ وَالطَّيِّبِ مَحَبَّةٌ مِنْ اخْتَارَهُ وَمَحَبَّةٌ مَنْ اخْتَارَهُ سُبْحَانَهُ لِيَنْ يَقُونَ طَيِّبًا مِنْ مَخْلُقَاتِهِ And also from the effects of this name upon the iman of the servant is that he will love whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has chosen from amongst his servants or that which is tayyib from amongst his creation. لِيَنْهُ لَا يَخْتَارُ وَلَا يَخْتَصُ مِنَ الْمَخْلُقَاتِ إِلَّا أَطْيَبُهَا And that is because Allah ta'ala does not choose and he does not specify and single out from his creation Except that, or make exclusive and special from his creation, except that which is tayyib. فَإِنَّ الْمُؤْمِنْ لَا يُحِبْ The mu'min, he will not love, وَلَا يُؤَثْرُ مِنَ الْأَقَائِدْ وَالْأَقْوَالِ وَالْأَمَالِ وَالْأَخْلَاقِ وَالْأَصْحَابِ وَالْمَنَاكِحِ وَالْمَطَائِمِ وَالْمَشَارِبِ إِلَّا أَطْيَبُهَا وَأَزْكَاهَا So the believing servant, he will not love, and he will not choose and prefer anything, whether it be from the aqa'id, the belief, belief systems, the statements, actions, behavior and mannerisms, the company that he keeps from companions, women that he marries, food that he eats, drink that he drinks, he will not love or prefer any of these things to be except that which is the most tayyib of them and the most pure and the most free from any type of harm or any type of filth. Fourthly, we'll start with this one, that the servant, حمده سبحانه والثناء عليه بذكره وشكره على ما أنعم به سبحانه علينا That we will praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and continuously exalt and mention the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for that which He has bestowed upon us of the numerous favors and the numerous blessings and that which He has sent down in the best of his books 
and that which he has sent to us from the best of his messengers, and that which he has legislated for us from the best of his legislations, and that which all of it is tayyiba fi aqidatiha wa ahkamiha wa akhlaqiha. All of it is tayyib in its belief system, in its rules and regulations, and in all of the things that have come in the religion of Al-Islam concerning behavior, morals, and manners. All of these things are tayyib. So we praise Allah Ta'ala and we thank Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and are grateful to Allah Ta'ala for these things. We'll stop here tonight, bi'idhnillahi azza wa jal, on these four points concerning the name of Allah Ta'ala at tayyib and the influence that this has upon the iman of the servant. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal, of course, as we continue to ask, to allow us to understand these names and to worship Him by way of these names and to draw near to Him by way of these names. Wallahu ta'ala a'lam wa sallallahu ala nabiyya Muhammad.